Yeah, I think you know. Uh, I, I think I'll circle back to about three or four days ago when we, you know, we began the process and uh, and you know made our uh, our kind of our wishes known to uh, to the to the clubs that we thought made sense uh, to uh, to acquire the player. Uh, uh, it was kind of a limited group. It, it had to be a, a, a team that needed needed the piece. Uh, had to be a team that was obviously in contention, and had to be a team that had uh, had the uh, the personnel that we needed to to uh, to get back into trade. So uh, it's uh, it, it it began a couple of days ago, and, and obviously it, we we cast a wide net. And then as things do, they uh, you know as we narrowed things down closer. To last night, uh, we uh, we we finally got to the handful of teams that were were actually in it, and then you know when at the at the end, when our demands stayed stayed uh, uh, consistent, then you know we kind of eliminated uh, the the teams and kind of got down to uh, a small number of teams, then down to two, and then uh, and then when uh, when the Padres reached the. Uh, the tall threshold that we had for this trade, uh, we we, uh, we decided to make the trade. Uh, Josh was, uh, it, you know, obviously in these these things we have several scenarios and several several uh, ways we could uh, we we could do a trade. So uh, Josh was in a, uh, a couple of them with a couple of teams. Uh, it started uh, as a as a one player team with uh, with the Padres and, and ended up uh, for us to extract uh, the uh, extra player that that we really coveted. Uh, we 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 uh, made the decision to put Josh in to get that player. We, you know, we were doing. We, we were trying to get most impactful player that we could, we could get. Uh, it, it, we we were fortunate that uh, that it was kind of a, a well-rounded package. You know, we we really liked the the talent level of, of all all five of, of the prospects, uh, and we got a veteran player in, in Luke Voigt, which uh, which we think will help this year in uh, in the, in the mentoring process and and that type of thing. But we really liked the five uh, uh, prospects that we got. They're they're all. Uh, high upside, high character, high quality guys that we have scouted for a long time, had a lot of history, had a lot of history with, uh, and we were fortunate that it was a well-rounded trade. We've got, we've got two pitchers, two outfielders, and, and a shortstop, uh, which was which fit our our, our needs perfectly. Sure, you know the the big league component. Uh, Abrams, uh, uh, CJ is uh, you know he's, he's a tooled up, twitchy type of live body guy that uh, that can really run, really play shortstop, very acrobatic and and uh, light on his feet, uh, and uh, he's he's got he's got twitchy hands and and a, a really a quick bat. Uh, we th we see him as a, as a five tool uh, type of talent. Uh, he could steal your base. He could he stays at shortstop. He's got a good arm. Uh, and uh, I got to get hit at the top top of any any order. Uh, uh, Mackenzie Gore is a guy that uh, that has uh, been a a famous guy and name for years. Finally, put it all together at the uh, at the age of 23, and uh, and uh, you know he's got big stuff, a big arm from the left the left side, and uh, and you know came out of the shoot very very strong, uh, and kind of faded out because you know he, he's he's pitched from limited innings for uh, for his whole professional career. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go easy with him when when he gets here, and uh, and and really uh, uh, kind of take him slow. And, and step by step, uh, and then you've got the you know the the, the big time toolsy guys uh, in uh, in James Woods, who's a six seven, uh, a specimen of a body. He's got big time power. He's a plus plus runner, uh, and uh, and just a, it's a good balance good balance player. Uh, and uh, and uh, Hassel is uh, is uh, again a five tool talent. That we believe stays in center field, and uh, a guy that uh, that can hit hit with power, play defense, throw, run, and steal bases, and uh, uh, his ceiling is high. Uh, they're all performing well. Their analytics uh, were were extremely high, uh, and uh, the the scouts loved them. So it was uh, it was a good group of guys. Uh, the uh, the 
the least known of the the youngest and least known uh, of the group is is possibly the highest upside of the group. Uh, uh, the, the that was the the piece that we really coveted and really wanted after the, after the you know what we called the elite four. Uh, and uh, Susanna is a is a 18 year old. Uh, the Dominican right-handed pitcher, that six foot six. He's got a good, clean delivery. He throws the ball hard. He's 98. We saw him twice in the last week, uh, last two weeks. He's up to 102 miles an hour with a breaking pitch and a good feel for a changeup. Uh, you know, he's a guy that who is high school age, and we believe that he, if he was in this 2022 draft, he'd have been a, he would have been a high to mid first round pick. And uh, we, we that was a that was a, a player that we really coveted. So, you know, that's a quick. Rundown of them. Uh, uh, we we again. We've done a lot of work on them. We've seen them for uh, years. We've had good history with them, so we felt comfortable with uh, with the ask. Hey, Mike, what's your message to the fans right now? The fans. Uh, you know, uh, the the message to the fans are. You know, I, I wore this ring uh, purposely. Okay, it shows what we've done in the past and what we're going to do in the future. Uh, and uh, you know, in 2019, we had a slogan: "Bumpy roads lead to beautiful places." <clears throat> we're, you know, we're in a bumpy road right now, and uh, we believe that coming out of this thing, it'll be a beautiful place. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you can you repeat that? In terms of what you were expecting in the bid with the Padres, was Eric Hosmer denial a possibility to the Socom? Yeah, we had uh, we had that 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 uh, piece of the deal was we we had three names uh, on that uh, for that piece of the deal. Uh, Hosmer was one of them, uh, and there was the, and Voigt was one, and there was one other. Mike, how difficult was the decision just to use a couple of years in rule after winning the World Series, and uh, also knowing that Juan Soto is considered a generational talent, and you're going to be remembered as a guy who traded? Yeah, I was the guy who signed him too, and and. Uh, and uh, I'll remember Juan uh, as uh, the the guy who uh, was with me when when I won my first World Series as a general manager. Uh, now I'm looking to do my, now I'm looking to do my next one. So he's uh, he is a generational player. He's a wonderful person and uh, and uh, you know a, a, a true gentleman of the game. Uh, you know what can you say about Juan Soto that has not already been said? He was the MVP of the playoffs uh, as an uh, in 2019 as a 20-year-old. Uh, he came into the league uh, as a, as a 19-year-old, and uh, when he left today uh, uh, with tears in our eyes, uh, he thanked me for it. What was the conversation? What was the conversation with Juan before he left? Well, we just we just say goodbye. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's tough. I've, I've known him since he's 15, uh, so we have a deep relationship. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. That's 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 for sure. Uh, we're we're gonna keep busy to the buzzer like we always do. And if something makes sense, we're we're certainly not afraid to pull the trigger. Uh, we need to improve this team. We need to improve the franchise, and we need to get back to winning rings. What was the first part? Yeah, uh, daunting. I, I wouldn't use the word daunting. It was uh, it was a uh, it was a deal that uh, really it was a deal that we it, we had to get the right deal or we weren't going to do the deal. Uh, we we set the bar very very high, uh, and and one team exceeded it, and that's the deal we made. And you know, props to the San Diego Padres. They're not afraid, and uh, ownership's not afraid, and AJ Preller is not afraid, and uh, they were aggressive, and we made it. We made a deal that uh, you call historical. Uh, I call it a good deal for both the San Diego Padres and the Washington Nationals at this time in both our franchises' uh, history. Mike, was there a point over the last week, week plus where you thought a deal just wasn't going to come together and you weren't going to get the return that you needed? Yes, yeah, several several times. You know, we we stuck to uh, our our asks. You know, we had a specific. Uh, a set of players at, at each uh, organization that we had to get to uh, to begin a conversation, and uh, it, again, it, it turned out that uh, there was only one uh, organization that was willing to do that, and and if they didn't, we probably wouldn't have done a deal. Is 
it, it was not a consideration. That's above my pay grade. I'm here to make this team as, as the best that it can be. Uh, and this was, a, this was a prudent move. This was a prudent baseball move. It was a difficult move. It's a difficult day. We, we, did, we did feel that, that we were not going to be able to extend them, and, and we felt that at this time, with, with two and a half years remaining, three playoffs run, runs uh, uh, available to Juan Soto, he would never be at, at more value than he is today. And uh, that's, that's, what we, that's what we predicated on. There was, no, there was no edict to trade him or not to trade him. It was business as usual. Uh, uh, ownership gave me the, uh, the, the, the latitude to, to make a, a good baseball deal if I, if I felt it was uh, a franchise-altering uh, deal. And uh, it, it turned out that we got one to our liking, and, uh, it, and it worked. And uh, again, kudos to the other, other side for, uh, for making it work. I think we've taken several steps uh, uh, forward. I think it, it, it accelerates the process. Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, you, you you lose a generational talent like that, but you you put in uh, uh, you know five key elements of your of your uh, future championship roster, uh, along with last year's trade deadline and the last three drafts and the last three international uh, signing periods. Uh, we've put in this system in the last three years, you know, 15 or 16 high quality, high tools, high tooled up players that have uh, uh, very impactful uh, uh, futures ahead of them. And uh, I think that uh, you could see that at the minor league level now, especially at the low minor league level, uh, uh, the, uh, the performance of those players. And, uh, and it, it, again, it was, it was the right move at the right time uh, for where we're at uh, as, a, as a franchise, a difficult day and a, and a difficult decision we had to make. But you know, I give the ownership courage for doing it. And uh, in the you know operations department for uh, for having the ability to pull it off. So you're saying that the group of players you have now and the whole system give you a better chance to be competitive more quickly than the guys that you have yet. I think I think the 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 prospect capital that we received I think it accelerates the process because it it not alone not only gives us the uh, the uh, uh, players to, that to perform in the field, it opens up other avenues uh, of, of revenues and, and payroll and that type of thing. Yeah, well, I'll answer the second part for We're going to take it slow with him, for, for sure. Like I said, he's, he's, had, he's had limited innings his whole career. He had a good – he had a he had a big workload early on this, this season that he's never had before. Uh, we, the, the injury did, did uh, make uh, things a little bit more complicated, uh, a little bit more work. We had to do a, a lot of due diligence uh, uh, medically, uh, but uh, when there, was, there was nothing hidden and there was the, – the, the reports and the MRIs and uh, – were, were viewed and uh, the doctor gave them, they, the doctor gave us the thumbs up to to uh, to complete the trade. Uh, we we're happy to get him. We 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 really uh, we see an upside uh, uh, left-handed starting pitcher in the, in the big leagues for uh, for years to come that we that we control for a long time. He was, uh, you know, he was the leader of this organization after, uh, after, uh, uh, you know, Max and that group uh, uh, left. It was, it was uh, Juan's team, and uh, and he he took that and ran with it. He was he was a, really turned into a terrific leader, and uh, and it was uh, he he means a lot to me personally, obviously. Um, we have a we have a great relationship, and we've known each other for a long time, and his family. <clears throat> Did it? I'm sorry. Did, did your relationship with Juan change over the last two weeks once you get used to being pulled over? No, I think that we, we we're stronger than that. We've our, our roots go way deeper than that, and uh, and you know we both understood that uh, that it's uh, I've said it publicly, and so has Juan. This isn't personal. This is business. Uh, personally, he's uh, one of the greatest teammates uh, that's that's ever walked the halls.
is there a part of you that is empathetic to the fan base here that's like he has had a whole bunch of really good players who aren't here anymore? Yeah, uh, uh, by the way, kudos to the scouting and player development staff for running all those guys through here. It's, it's, it, we've, we've had as good of impact players as anybody in the game. Uh, we, we've had stars here uh, throughout, the, throughout our, our tenure here. We had a 10-year run that was unmatched by few teams. We won four division titles, a, world, a wild card title, a National League pennant, and a world championship. Uh, you could put, uh, uh, you can count on your one hand the teams that can match that success story in the last 10 years, uh, and uh, we're 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 equipped and capable and able to reboot it like we did before, and have a run of 10 year, 10 year uh, of of success. We're, uh, we're far, further along than we were in 2009 when I took over uh, after uh, 200 lost seasons. And uh, we're, we're excited for the next challenge to build our next championship caliber club. Does this feel like that time when you had a young Rendon and you had a young Strasburg and you had a young Harper and Zimmerman and Zimmerman and all those that young group coming together and coalescing? Yeah, they're, 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 they were all prospects at one time. You know, they were all, they were all the Hassels and the Abrams of, of the world. Uh, we traded, we traded, we, People forget we traded for Trey Turner, and uh, we we traded we traded a draft pick that we signed, drafted, and developed to tr to get Trey Turner and, jo and Joe Ross, uh, and developed them uh, within our system. And and he spent six years here uh, as as a, as a, a star big league player. Uh, and uh, you know, the list goes on and on. You look at that 2019 team, and you look how that team was assembled. It was assembled by trades, drafts, and international signings. And that's a kudos to player development and scouting. You know, differently, there are different, there are different parts, but, you know, we went for impactful players, and that's what we do in the draft, and, uh, and you know, it's, uh, it's a kudos to the Padres system. They had a bunch of good players to, to choose from, uh, and uh, they, they were the ones that really piqued our interest and, and kept us, uh, and kept, kept, kept us engaged. I think the identity is is going to be you know we're we're, we're going to see we're going to see some of these youthful uh, uh, speed, fast, quick twitch type of players coming to coming to the big leagues. Uh, you know, the str you know, a good team is strong up the middle, uh, and and soon you're going to see a 23 year old Ruiz and, and a 21 year old Abrams and and a, and a, a Louis Garcia and uh, and a a JoJo Gray and and a Terrence Gore and a and a Cade Cavelli. That's going to be your core. That's going to that's the beginning of, of, of the core with a bunch of people coming that coming after that. And uh, the, the the plan has been activated. It's been in place. It's it, we we see the, we see it working, uh, and uh, uh, we also see in the big leagues. It's it's not fun. And uh, you know when, when we talk about bumpy roads, it's it's bumpy. I mean it's bumpy out there, and uh, it's no fun being the GM uh, when you're losing all the time. Uh, I've been through it. This is my 40th year in in uh, professional baseball. I've been through all of it, uh, and it's it's way more fun to to average 92 wins a, a year for 10 years. Believe me. Well, we we put we put our uh, we put our wish list out there to the to the teams. We we needed we needed uh, a handful, a package of premium prospects, uh, and then we talk after that. So that's where that's where it began, uh, and it eliminated quite a few quite a few teams, uh, and uh, and and we found that we found a team that uh, that had the prospects we liked, w w wanted Soto enough, and we made the deal.